Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to my channel, Plant Based Storm. I'm Stormy and I'm super excited to share with y'all that I have a website up and running. It's a place where you can find all of my content in one location, my Instagram, YouTube, and recipes. Also, I'm going to be posting on the blog, Lifestyles, Tips, and Tricks for a Plant-Based Diet. So go ahead and check it out at www.plantbasedstorm.com. I can't wait to share it with you. So today's recipe is a family size Mexican inspired plant based fiesta and I hope that you'll give this a try because it is fresh, it is delicious, and it is super simple and easy to cook up. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing we're going to kick this recipe off with is the Mexican inspired rice and I'm using two cups of brown rice and one cup of white rice and we're toasting it off in the pan and the reason why we're doing that is because traditionally this is cooked in an oil but this is an oil free recipe but the flavor that toasting it in the pan imparts into the dish is undeniably delicious and you surely don't want to skip this step because it lends so much flavor to the dish itself so once it starts to brown um, you'll be able to add in the seasonings but you want to really watch it and not walk away because it can burn super easy um, I'm gonna add in some oregano and this is all to taste um, I am gonna have this recipe and all the other recipes up on my new website that I just mentioned some chili powder go ahead and mix that in as well and then we're gonna add in a little bit of smoked paprika and some onion powder and I normally add in garlic powder but I didn't have any so you could do that as well and if you would rather not add these spices in later on I do have a taco seasoning you could use the taco seasoning you could mix it up once and use it in this recipe and in the other recipe that calls for the taco seasoning and here I'm adding in some cumin as well because that is one of the most notable flavors in this dish then I'm adding in one can of a rotel and I add it in um, fill it up to a two cup uh, measuring cup of water and then I'm going to add in four more cups of water because this was three cups of rice total so you need double the amount of water to rice and then I'm going to go ahead and add that in and we are going to let this cook up by letting this come to a boil and once it comes to a boil you're going to turn it down to a simmer you're going to put the lid on and you're going to allow the liquid to absorb fully and that's when it will be done and it usually takes takes about 30 minutes and you can just fluff it up and it'll be super delicious. Next up I've got a sheet pan and I'm doing some Mexican inspired roasted vegetables, red bell pepper, purple onion, and the broccolini I've already got lined up on the tray. I'm also adding in some poblano pepper here as you can see I'm just dicing it up and I'm going to throw it in there with the red pepper. Um, and that adds such a beautiful flavor to the whole dish. I really love the different types of peppers because they're surprisingly got different subtle flavors from one pepper to the other. Now this is a chayote squash if you're not familiar with it. I'm just peeling the outside of it and I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to dice it and just throw that onto the pan as well. And it cooks up just like a squash. Uh, cut the ends off, cut it in half, and it kind of has like a little center, sort of like a pear. And I just like to dip that center out. I really don't think you even have to do that, but that's what I usually do because there's like a couple of little seeds in there. Anyway, I just kind of scoop it out like that with the spoon and then dice it up and throw it right onto the pan as well. Maybe it's cause we are Got time and we're wasted And no pens for the night I love how you look at me Feeling love nothing to lose Can we stay here tonight cause I don't wanna go I know the tension's gone now And that you won't stay here Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya as you can see here, all the rice has absorbed the liquid and I'm just going to take this spatula and I'm going to fluff it up. Or like I said, you can take a fork and you can see how fluffy and yummy and delicious. Just mix in all of the tomatoes and it's going to be super good. I set that aside. And now I can finish the sheet pan of veggies. I'm adding in about a teaspoon of each of these things. 
That was chili powder and then a little bit of cumin. Like I said, it's about a teaspoon of each. You can actually measure these out if you would like to. This is a flat iron pepper company, green hatch chilies. And I love, love, love that flavor. I'll put it in the description box if you're interested. Um, smoked paprika. Um, but if you don't want to use uh, pepper flakes, you don't have to. But uh, it really adds a nice flavor to it. But you can omit it. And then I'm also going to add in a little bit of oregano, um, and I'm adding in onion powder. And like I said, typically I would add garlic powder, but I didn't have any. So I'm adding in a smidge of garlic salt, which works just as well. And then you're going to mix all of this up and then just dust it all over your vegetables and mix it right in onto the sheet pan and then it's going to bake at 350 or roast at 350 for about 10 to 15 20 minutes just until uh, your desired doneness I like mine with a good bit of little brown on the edges so that it's uh, got that nice roasted flavor This next component takes it to the next level. It is so fresh, so delicious. You have to add this to your menu. So, so good. It's a pineapple salsa. So it's going to be two cups of pineapple, one jalapeno, and you can omit that if you're not into the spicy, one clove of garlic, and a quarter of a red onion, and one cup of a red bell pepper. And then I'm also going to add in a bit of cumin. You can do this to taste or you can leave the cumin out. You can also add in a squeeze of fresh lime if you like. I did not do that here, but it is excellent. Um, and like I said, this brings it to the next level. Next up is the lettuce cup filling. And to start off with, we have one shredded carrot and a diced avocado and a purple onion that we're going to add in to this and then one can of rinsed black beans and then simply mix this up and set it to the side and it is good to go. And last but not least is some cashew sour cream and I had made this previously a day or two ago for another recipe that I had ate but it is a half a cup of cashews and a quarter cup of water. The cashews were pre-soaked and you blend it up until it's nice and creamy. And then here I'm actually making the sour cream. So a dash of garlic salt, a dash of apple cider vinegar, and a pinch of nutritional yeast. And blend this all up and it tastes so delicious just like sour cream without the dairy. And then for a fun little twist, I decided to go ahead and fix a bento box for the next day. This was something that I ordered off of Amazon and it's so cute and I absolutely love it. And it's even got a separate space for the utensils, which I thought was pretty neat. And it's got a separator so that you can change up the portion sizes in one of the compartments. And then the other one is a nice big compartment and also has an extra little container for whatever you might need it for. So I just thought this was really neat. I'm going to pack it up for the next day. And then I'm going to show you what the whole dinner looks like on a plate. So yeah, this was really fun. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the box below so that you can order you a bento box as well. This is perfect for taking to lunches or picnics or anything that you might need to pack food up for. It is a great portion size as well. Tension's gone now, and that you won't come back. Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya. Yeah, I wanna do it all again. So I keep pushing rewind. Hoping you'll still by my side. We can't get lost in time. But don't you wanna do it all again? So I can repeat in my mind. Dancing with you by my side. We can't get lost in time. 
So here is the dinner plate put together and it is a 50-50 plate loaded with flavor and vegetables. I hope you give this a try. It will not disappoint and if you do let me know in the comments how you like it below and as always thanks so much for watching. Thank you.